When Apple showed off iOS 7, they introduced a control center that looked very much like Android's notification shade. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now and Turnabout's Fair Play. This is my Nexus 4. I'm running Cyanogen mod and I'm rooted, but you don't have to be to run Control Center. You open up the app and you've got a few settings and it's all this nice yellow minion colored uh, theme to it. We've got general settings where you can go through and do a whole bunch of stuff, including making the indicator icon transparent. Hold off on doing that for a while until the next couple upgrades. Enable mini view, I'll show you that in a minute, and then you can hide some stuff if you don't want them to be there. So what are we talking about? This is your notification shade. Everybody's used to that. If you've got an Android, you pull it down from the top. If you've got a tablet, you can pull it down from the other side and get some different settings and whatnot. So that's, that's what it is. You can control stuff right up in here, your music, you can dismiss notifications, all kinds of cool things, but it doesn't look like Apple. Now, a lot of you will say it doesn't have to be. Apple's the copycat here because they've got their control center, which looks like a notification shade that you drag up from the bottom. But it does look kind of cool, right? That's what control center does. You get a hot spot that you can drag from. I've anchored mine over here into the center 50% of the right side of my screen. You can assign that pretty much anywhere you want except the top. And once you do that, it just like you saw there, very simply, you can swipe and get all of your stuff. Here's your quick toggles, your brightness settings. You can even, even go right into it, brightness from there. Come back here and we'll get back into it. Now notice, in that point, I didn't grab exactly in the center. I was up above or below, so I'll come back and grab it that time. So you can still do your side-to-side -side swiping without a problem. You just have to know exactly where it is to get that. And I've set mine to 50%. You can set yours above or below that. You can even put it down on the bottom if you want. This is just kind of as an example and so I can maintain my, uh, my Google Now. We also have my now playing music so that I can start, stop, scrub through wherever I want. You've got a quick launch down at the bottom. If we want to add a new app down here, we just tap on that. Let's say I want to put in, what do we want to put in? Nest so I can control my thermostat really easy. So we'll just do that. We'll come back here. And there is Nest and we can scrub back and forth. You can also go back and forth up here on your quick toggles. Very cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at that compact version like I told you we were going to. Come back into Control Center. And if I remember where that was, General Settings, Enable Mini View, OK. And there's the Mini View down there. I kind of like the full view. You can see that blue bar right there. That's my swipe area, just in case you were wondering what that was. General settings, let's turn that back off. We can hide brightness because I don't ever do stuff with brightness. I like auto brightness. And then when we do that, we've just saved a little bit of space in here as well. Really kind of cool. This has been a hands-on of Control Center for Android by Lone Tooth. It is available in the Play Store for free. Right now, you can go and get a copy. There are certain things that they're working on upgrading, animations and whatnot, that will be coming soon, so make sure you keep an eye on it. But it is completely functional today. If you like seeing this kind of stuff, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. Why not share it with your friends on your favorite social media networks? We're on all of them. On Twitter, we're at PocketNow, and I'm at Joe Levi. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.